everybody coming at you guys from the metal rush stage itself so in today's video i'll be showing you guys the best metal rush strategy to use in anime world tower defense so something i recently noticed is that oshi or idol doesn't buff uh summons so that's something you want to keep in mind because you don't necessarily need her if we're talking about replacements currently you can replace Senku for, uh, I believe, Leader. He does roughly a similar. He does a similar thing, not the same thing. If you don't have Kurumi like I do, you can replace Kurumi for Gojo and put Gojo as the lead. And uh, maybe thanks to that, you can squeeze in another unit. Uh, I mean, I just really have Idol just because I can't really give you a good reason. But yeah, you guys will shortly see how broken this strategy is because I've done this strategy a few times and each time I've gotten around like 2.3 mil gold somewhere in that ballpark. And I mean, you guys know that's a lot of gold. That's the most amount of gold we've ever been able to get. So this new strategy is definitely a huge step up. And if I'm being completely honest, all you need is just ghetto and Megami to execute this strategy because those two units like work as a perfect duality to allow you to do this they are very important blah blah, blah. let me just go far away bro <laughs> i feel like i still get copyrighted for that even today Oh yeah, make sure to go with the summon damage upgrades because Hakari is only really here just for an early crit. Like, for example, if you don't have Hakari, that's completely fine. Just use a different crit. Like, we don't we don't care about these guys. These are not these are not the game changing pieces like these other guys are. So that's just something I want you to keep in mind too. Uh, the main reason I chose Hikari is he has the potential to do the most damage, but once again, like I said, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't change anything significantly. Like, if you guys didn't want to, you guys don't even have to upgrade these guys. You guys don't even have to feed these guys. But, you know, there's extra money, so I might as well. And now here comes the unit that's going to save the day. For those of you guys who didn't know... Uh, Ghetto Evo has an ability that allows him to buff damage of active summons and that damage buff of active summons stacks on top of Megami's Shadow Garden domain. So basically you can buff the summon to like 70 or 70 is a way too high. I forget. Uh, you can buff it to about like 69% of its original damage and then as you guys know summons gradually level up. If I had a pinky of SCR++, I would definitely bring her as she makes a leveling up units way easier. But it might be difficult because I'm pretty sure she has a damage requirement for it. So I don't know exactly all too well like the details and how that would work out for you. But yeah, there's a lot of, there's a lot of interesting things they added this update. And this is a big, this is a big one. This is a big part of it. Cause I think they might have single-handedly revived like the summoners category with this update. Cause Ghetto is a wonderful unit as a standalone unit. You know, of course he can't do anything in Metal Rush cause he's not a crit unit. But look at that. He increases the damage of active summons. As you can see that attack bonus right there. And uh, you can also see that as uh, uh, well, let me get this first 63 mil. If I click Shadow Garden, he goes up to 82 mil. So they stack on top of each other, which is huge. If they didn't stack on top of each other, bringing Ghetto would be pointless. Well, oh, man, sort of, sort of. All right, for Kurumi, uh, there's a lot of things you can do here, but the thing I'm gonna do here is I'm mainly just gonna focus on stalling for as long as possible so what that would look like is i would immediately want to uh rewind time 
and then I would want to well okay first thing I would want to do is I would want to do something like this and then I would go on to the rewind time and then I will go on to this ability and then I would eventually go on to I believe this ability nice we got a jackpot and then I would eventually go on to this time ability there's no point in rewinding the waves I'm pretty sure it takes away money from you so it's not it's not worth your time it's just extra time wasted so yeah don't do that uh, what did you do Ah uh, yeah so the passes I have a uh, question mark over these are the only passes you really want to use in order you want to use this one and then go to this one and then go to this one Ooh, actually, uh, I didn't think of, I didn't think about the. Uh, well, maybe you want to use the rewind one. Cause uh, okay, well you want to use the base protect and then the rewind. Just have to really just click on whatever. But yeah, so we're just really waiting. Let's see how much damage my Harag is at. He's almost at 200 million damage. He could be at a lot more as long as you level him up actively. But yeah, you guys can definitely see how good this unit is. And uh, I used that completely wrong. <sighs> I thought the base protect was... Oh my god. Yeah, no, I used that completely wrong. Use the base protect when they're right at the base or about to like enter the base. I, I messed up real bad there I might get a little bit less of what than what I should get which is unfortunate ah uh, yeah I, I screwed up there uh, maybe I can still afford to use this one <laughs> that was a really scuff run but as I told you guys 2.1 mil that's some really good stat I mean those are some really good numbers let me take a screenshot perfect uh, really good numbers, really good units all around. I definitely recommend you use this team. Uh, if you don't have the units, then I can give you some suggestions. Comment down what units you don't have, and I'll provide suggestions on what to replace them with in the comments down below. You may not see as good results as me if you don't have the exact units, but you will see some really great results. Mega Me is definitely the way to go with this new Gold Rush that came out. And with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Love recording for you guys, and I'll be seeing you guys. Bye.